Hello friends, good morning. We are actually in Malibu for the weekend. Today I thought it would be fun to take you guys along on a little vlog and I also wanted to do a mini little athletic wear try on haul. This is a set that Viore sent over and I'm obsessed with. We actually just got back from a workout earlier this morning as you could see from earlier in this video and the set was so comfortable, so flattering on and I got a couple of new pieces I'm really excited to share with you. So big thank you to Viore for sponsoring part of this video but I've actually known this brand for a couple years, also carried at REI. Brandon has loved a lot of their shorts and he has two pairs of their shorts as well and he loves swimming in them, doing active activities in them. So we are big fans of the brand, so I'm really excited and I just love talking about new activewear brands that I discover and their uh, Viore is also sustainable as well. So we'll walk through all of the sizing, the fit, some of the new pieces that I got. I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along on a daily vlog. I have to shoot a lot of content today. Today's Monday and I, like I said, I had friends staying with us over the weekend. So we just didn't do much work-wise, but we did a lot of activities. We went to the flea yesterday, had lots of good food. So today is like a very heavy, work day so I wanted to take you along show you what happens in a normal routine I go to see a personal trainer Monday and Friday morning so that's what we did this morning we're gonna go grab some breakfast I'm gonna hop in and take a shower and I will see you guys in just a bit <laughs> So I'm back. I wanted to show you my Viore little haul as promised. And first of all, I'm obsessed with this tank. It is so buttery soft and so comfortable. I need this in all of the colors because I feel like it's so useful for working out, lounging. It has built-in padded cups as well, which makes it so easy and it feels really supported. So if I wanted to do like a hit or cardio workout, I feel really supported. So I feel like it's really flattering on. This is a cute little camo set and these little shorty shorts are so fun. And I've been looking for new shorts for going skating, running and stuff like that. I'm gonna start a little jump rope challenge soon, which I'm nervous about, but I love this outfit. These shorts are really like breathable. I feel like I could do some high intensity cardio workouts in them. Super comfortable, they fit me really nice. They don't like tug or anything like that. And I like that they have pockets, but also a little zip situation. So if you wanted something like keys, wallet, whatever, to be more secure, we have two different options, which is great. I just can't get over this top. It is just so stinking soft i love this okay then we have the set that i wore earlier this morning to my workout like i said i just felt super comfortable in this and i'm obsessed with the color i love the back of this bra so much too i feel like it's very unique and then the biker shorts are actually a size medium they fit me really nice and the waistband is kind of like a thicker ribbed knit and then the back kind of has a v situation so i feel like they're very flattering on the bottom and I just love that shape and they're so soft and comfortable. And then we have these pants I've been lounging in all day. I got them in a size medium because I wanted them to be like really comfortable and loose. These are gonna be my like at home joggers but if I wanted to wear them to the airport or whatever, I could too. They're so soft. I don't understand like how it's like a buttery soft material and when I wear it, it just feels like I'm in a cloud. Like I'm just in bed but actually being productive so love these pants the colorway is kind of fun and i feel like it goes with so many different things medium is like really oversized so i feel like i could be comfortable still in a small but it has an adjustable waistband which is nice so i can still adjust it to make it fit me really nice i'll go ahead and link all the pieces down below but big thank you to viore for sponsoring part of this video hello so my makeup is done i'm about to sit down and film a best of cream blushes video i'm doing like a top five roundup and i just have my makeup done obviously for the video but i'm also going to shoot some photos later today as well and i wanted to walk you guys through the quick process so i filmed some of the try on clips on my vlog camera this is a camera that i use for vlogging and it's really nice because it's nice and compact it's also great because it has a little flip out screen normally when i'm vlogging or filming with this i have it on this little tripod and this one my girlfriend jenny got me on this but it's from amazon and it's really great so easy and you just like push the button and you can adjust the angle that it's at i always have my little vlog camera mounted on this little tripod it's super handy Great for positioning the camera and stuff like that. So I just filmed some try-on clips of all the cream blushes that I use and stuff like that. Also, 
washing machine is going off because we have like 30 million towels so that's the noise in the background so anyways i have a little memory clip it is currently uploading to my little flash drive situation i forget what these are called i think it's called I forget what it's called. It's supposed to be better than hard drive. I've had hard drives break on me before and it sucks because I have hundreds and hundreds of gigabytes of data that get corrupted. This is just supposed to be better and a little bit more fail proof, I guess. Uploading all the clips to that and now I am actually uploading the files, the video files I filmed to a OneDrive. Uh, all the pictures that I need to take for Instagram, YouTube, I just, there's so much for me to do and so I have hired a video editor and it's been the best thing ever because she helps me to edit my videos and it's how I can stay super active on YouTube but also Instagram and TikTok. For a YouTube video that I want her to edit, I typically will send her the files like two or three days before. Lately, I've been sending her files like a day or two before because I've just been so busy. As an influencer, I work with a lot of brands and I do like a lot of sponsored posts and stuff like that. Whenever I do a sponsored post, video, Instagram stories, whatever with a brand, I always have to send it in for approval. So like even this video that's sponsored by Viore, I have to send it to them for approval. And so a lot of the times, the whole process of filming, editing, sending for approval, if the brand wants any like edits made or anything like that, that'll take me another couple of days and then final approvals and then finally posting. So the whole turnaround can take anywhere from like one to two weeks. So oftentimes when you see a sponsored post, it's something that I've taken like a week prior to that. It does take a lot of time, especially if I have like three or four campaigns that I'm working on, it just, is a lot and so having a video editor is great and Coco's probably gonna edit this so hi Coco. So yeah oftentimes I will do like batch filming days. So I'll do like a whole day where I'll film two YouTube videos in a day and that way like my makeup's already done might as well be the most efficient that I can and then I'll also film like TikToks, take a ton of Instagram posts all in one day so I really like to batch my content and that way it's the most efficient with my time. That's a whole process and my day-to-day -day routine is a lot of going through emails, batch shooting content, making sure I edit and send the brands for approval but also shooting organic content because I like to make sure that I'm posting cute outfit photos, shooting good lookbooks. I have a lot of organic content mixed within and I try to do 75% organic content, 25% sponsored. So a lot of my day to day is like either shooting or shooting content, editing, going back and forth with brands for approvals and stuff like that. And also going through your guys' messages, comments, DMs, because I do still to this day read almost every single comment. DM on all of my social platforms or something. That's something I really pride myself in. I love feeling like really engaged and knowing all the feedback as soon as it comes in, which is always super great. But anyways, I'm gonna film my cream blushes video and let me show you a little bit of the behind the scenes. So this is my little setup for a YouTube video. This is kind of like the backdrop that I have set up right now. And from that viewpoint, you won't be able to see all the lights and clutter and stuff. This is my like main camera camera. This is the camera that I take all of my photos on. If it's if I'm not shooting on iPhone, I'm shooting on this camera. And this camera is great because it does have the flip screen, which is really useful for my sit down videos and stuff like that. Just seeing like what is going on. I have my ring light. I have a little um, umbrella light situation. I forget what that's called, but that's really good because we have a lot of natural light coming in. And this light really helps to balance all of that. I'm gonna film my cream blushes video. That video will probably be up before this one, so I'll go ahead and link it up in the eye if you're interested in my top five favorite cream blushes and the ones that I'm wearing on my face right now, but I'm gonna get to filming. shot a really exciting campaign that is coming soon i probably i'm actually still working on my new york vlog and we got back like almost two weeks ago now but i just feel like i've gone to disneyland twice since then my friends were in town visiting us for the weekend so i haven't really had time to just like sit down and work consecutively for a couple of days so 
I need to do some catch up because I leave to Seattle soon. So by the time you guys see this, I will probably already be in Seattle. So we have a lot of stuff planned. I also have been talking to my manager about potentially moving to New York with Brandon for short term. We have a lot of stuff planned, a lot of stuff that we want to do this year. Yeah, I'm excited for that, um, but I'm going to bring this vlog to a close because I need to finish up my vlog. I'll probably pop on here and show my little skincare routine or something like that, but I'm hot, I'm sweaty. I've been wearing this makeup now for a couple of hours and it actually looks really good. I'm wearing the Pat McGrath foundation which i love and i am working on a campaign with them soon and so they recently sent me a lot of their products and their concealer is so full coverage and i feel like paired with the foundation it just gives me such a good base so i'm obsessed i hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog a day in the life it's not a whole lot going on like i said a lot of the times i do my makeup take pictures and then get back in my seat and do whatever so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video Thank you.